These men are trying to meet up with teenagers online. Do you have kids of your own? Yeah. What would they think of this? They probably disown me. They think they're talking to actual teenagers, but in reality, they're talking to an adult decoy posing as one on the other end. You say 14? Yeah. Oh my god, that's too young. I act older though. You having a good Saturday night? How's it going? Not only is it immoral and downright disgusting, but it's illegal. And these guys know that very well. You won't believe some of their excuses. I don't have no intentions to try to do anything, though, buddy. You don't? I don't. What about when you said that you wanted to slide your hands up and down her back? You talking to me like that at first. They come in all different shapes and sizes. It, I, this poor judge and I might hurt to ever continue the conversations. Just want to let you know you've you just been skeeted. What is skeeted? No, I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial Investigation Unit. I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial Investigation Unit. I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial Investigation Unit. I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial Investigation Unit, and these are the dangers of your kids using the internet unsupervised. I hope you've brought your appetite because we've got a lot of predator pasta to dish out here. What up, y'all? It's your boy Skeeter Gene here, coming at you from the editing room, and if you haven't already, be sure to check out my page on Locals. Here you can access exclusive, early, uncut, and uncensored Predator Catch content. If you're not familiar with the platform, it's basically just like Patreon, except I can post just about whatever I want on there, um, including some content that may be a little too hot for YouTube. You never really know what's going to happen here on YouTube with their highly strict guidelines, so I highly encourage you guys to consider becoming a Skeet supporter on Locals so that we can keep delivering you guys the content that you want to see. Now that I've got all my e-begging out of the way, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, and be sure to follow my second channel and my Twitch as well. It's always a rather embarrassing experience when you get called out for chatting online with a 13-year-old girl. But even more so when it happens at your workplace and your manager hears about it firsthand. Unfortunately for John, that was the case. Now keep in mind his name is actually Adam, but he calls himself John. After chatting online with our adult decoy for some time, John got so invested with her that he told some of his personal information, which only came back to bite him. We set up an online profile on a dating app, posing as a teen girl to see if any potential predators would take the bait. Unfortunately, John took the bait, and after enough evidence was gathered, we set out to confront him at his workplace about the conversation that he had with this underage girl. It turned out that he worked at an auto care shop which was convenient since my car was having a bit of an engine issue. Since John was a mechanic, we thought of a rather creative way to begin the interview process. Man, how's it going? You're like, you're like a mechanic, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I got like a, I don't know if you want to take a, like a quick look. I don't know how busy you are. I got a, like a little diddler under, under the hood over here. If you could just like look real quick, that'd be your picture, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you sent that to a girl that told you she was, she was 13 not too long ago. That'd be all right. Be, um... After the interview, all information is passed over to the appropriate law enforcement agencies. It certainly seemed that the vehicles that John was working on weren't the only thing that had a couple of screws loose. You'll know what I mean after you've read some of his chat log. It's almost as dirty as his hands were from being under the hood all day. The girl tells John that she's 13 and asks if he's okay with it. John says, yeah, it's fine. I just don't want to get in trouble. Do your parents check your phone? The girl says that she wouldn't tell anyone and that her parents don't check her phone. John says that he's thinking about dirty things. He describes some of the acts that he wants to perform on her and even mentions a specific position that he wants to try. He asks the girl if she knows what a 69 is and proposes that they do that as well. John then brags about how well endowed he is 
Now why would a 13 year old girl need to know that? You gotta wonder. John had quite a bit to say in his chat log, but that wasn't quite the case when he met me face to face. Now Adam, or John as he likes to call himself, um, came across our decoy profile on a dating app somewhere in the summer of uh, 2022. Right off the bat, it was very clear to Adam that this girl was 13 years old and he did not uh, hesitate to keep talking to her and turn the conversation sexual. Now I can't go into too much detail here, but the things he was saying that he wanted to do with this girl were very, very graphic and he was very descriptive. In the chat log, he did acknowledge that what he was doing was potentially very illegal. But that didn't stop him. He just um, he just kept going, and he even made plans to meet up with this girl um, on a weekend when she would be home alone. Now, in these investigations, we often hear that um, you know these guys have never done this sort of thing before, and it's it's always their first time. And uh, we know that that's not always the case, but um, I think it may have been the case with Adam here because he wasn't very careful with covering up his tracks at all. After a few exchanged messages back and forth between um, Adam and the decoy, uh, the conversation moved over to texting, and Adam actually used his real phone number to, uh, to text this girl. So because he used his real phone number, I was able to do a quick number search and uh, find out some information about him. At some point, he did tell the girl um, where he worked. Um, it was a certain um, auto care chain. He mentioned the, the name of it. And after I did the number search on him, I did find an address. And I looked for a few of the, you know, the auto care shops uh, uh, around that address. And pretty much after putting two and two together, I narrowed it down to um, which of the two auto care shops that uh, Adam might work at. This might be him right here, and uh, it's like we got this guy moving around here. He's looking pretty busy. He did say that he was like the only one working. He said he's the only one working right now at the time. Oh, he's a, so he's a hard worker. So de dedicate to the job. He dedicated to the job. Class act. Okay, well, I'm gonna put this thing under the hood. I'm just gonna walk right over there and see if I can talk to him and see if that's him. All right, boys, um, we're gonna go holler at the, the boys right here in the shop. Looks like they're they're getting down. And um, we're gonna see if um, our boy our boy Adam is is here. So um, hopefully, it, uh, hopefully it goes good. So. <sighs> Not seeing him. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try going in and actually talk to someone, just asking if, if this guy works here. Let's go that route. <sighs> yeah, no, he said he doesn't work there. He's, oh, I see him. You can oh, see him. Oh, Zoom in. Oh, right, yeah. See him right there. You can see him right there. He's working on this uh, pickup truck over here. It looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape his his picture up over here. You can't really see him now. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and tape it over here though. All right boys, there's John. We see him right there. I'm gonna go over and um, ask him if he can Take a look at the little diddler that I got going on under the hood here. We, uh, we actually are at the correct Firestone this time, so. Hey man, how's it going? You're like, you're like a mechanic, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I got like a, I don't know if you want to take a, like a quick look. I don't know how busy you are. I got a, like a little diddler under, under the hood. Over here, if you could just like look real quick. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that'd be your picture, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you sent that to a girl that told you she was, she was 13. Not too long ago. That'd be all right. You'd be um, Adam, right? Yeah. Adam or John mm -hmm. is what you call yourself here. 
have a little chat look of you. Now, do you remember talking to this this girl right here? And here she tells you that she's 13. Whoa, so whoa, I didn't. Why is there a guy holding a camera? Oh, this is for documentation purposes. That way you can't say anything happened that didn't. And if I could just have a word with you here. Now, you see here she does tell you that she's 13. Um, Adam or John. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, what makes it okay to talk to a 13-year-old girl like this? And you talk very Now, it looks like you were planning to meet up with her next weekend and do some rather naughty things. Right? And, I mean, here you say... Your parents don't mind you being on a dating app? I mean, you're, you're acknowledging that she's 13 here, right? And you say you don't want her parents to check her phone and get anyone in trouble, right? I mean, that's, that's what you say here, right? You say here that you're thinking about So you're, you're thinking about the 13-year-old girl, is what you're saying, Adam. Sir, I don't... Yes. By the way, I'm Skeet Hans with the Predatorial Investigation Unit. Just so you know, we do report all our findings to the police. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here you say that you want to be her missionary, and then having her lay flat on the on the ground on her stomach while you a 13 year old girl. A 13 year old girl, John. Adam, is it Adam or John? Oh, it's Adam. I see it on the on your shirt now. Now at this point, Adam was really feeling the pressure. Um, he was nervous, he was sweating. Um, he really didn't like the fact that he was being uh, caught in 4K, as they say. And it's just getting worse as every minute is going on, you know. Uh, he's, uh, he's got this grime and grease all on his hands from being under the hood all day. Um, he's got this sort of car oil scent going on combined with a little bit of body odor. And uh, that could have actually been avoided if he had just put on a cologne from Scentbird. And uh, th this video is actually sponsored by them. I am so f***ing sorry for interrupting your regularly scheduled dose of Predator Pasta, but I'm sellout skeet and I need your money. So let's talk about Scentbird. Now whenever I'm getting suited up and ready to go catch one of these bad guys and get them up off the streets, I carefully select which cologne I go with to fit the occasion. With our investigations, we oftentimes call the police. And you never know when you're gonna come face to face with a lady cop, so I have to make sure that I smell accordingly. And that's where Scentbird comes in. Scentbird is a place to begin or deepen your relationship with fragrances through one of the five human senses. Smell. Now what if I told you, yes you, that for only 17 buckaroos a month, you could try out a new designer fragrance? Sounds pretty good, right? Right? No? Well, I don't give a shit. Keep listening. You even get to choose the scents that you receive, so there's no surprises around the corner. Choose from colognes, perfumes, and a few unisex options. They'll send you a 30-day supply size bottle, that way you can try the scent out before you commit to that full-size bottle that can set you back three to five hundred dollars. Good scents aren't cheap, let me tell you. If you want to give Semper a try, be sure to click the link down in the description below and use my code for 55% off. It's just a little over $7 for your first month, available in the USA and Canada. Now when you get your stuff from Scentbird, it's going to come in a nifty little bottle like this here to get your scent out. You'll just uh, go ahead and twist it this way and out comes the... Ah, mother f It's going to come in a nifty bottle like this to get your scent out. You'll just twist it this way. That unlocks the uh, case here. Then you can just pull your scent out. And here we have Libertine by The Maker. Hmm. Yeah, this one's kind of like a got kind of a kind of a citrusy scent. I'm feeling kind of fruity today, so I think I'll put it on. Oh yeah, yeah, that stuff. Oh, <coughs> oh I got it in my mouth. Oh. And here we have Sugarful by Michael Germain. It's a very sweet scent. And here we have Get a Room by Confessions of a Rebel. So if you have a hot date lined up and you want to get lucky. You know, need I say more, you're going to put this cologne on. And uh, if it still doesn't work out, <laughs> you f***ing suck. Huge thanks to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check them out in the links in the description down below. Now I'm going to go ahead and hand you back over to Skeet Hansen. Do you want to do this with a 13-year-old girl? I will. Can you, can you explain yourself? 
Yes, I can. Okay, well, please do. Um, I... We already have your picture and everything. Oh, well, I, I, I know, sir. Okay. Well, please explain what makes this, uh, this conversation okay. And we want to stop this before it should escalate, because you were planning to meet up with her next weekend. She's 13, Adam. You ask her what she's done. You say, yeah. she says she's done kissing in a BJ. You ask her how she liked the BJ. Okay, and then you say, I like to think I'm pretty big. Can, can I go get my manager just to have a witness? Oh, well, we can get to that in a minute, but I just want to talk, I mean, we have a camera witness here, but I just want to talk to you about this challenge. You say that you're eight inches fully hard to a 13-year-old girl. Why does a 13-year-old girl need to know that, Adam? May, may, may I give my side of the story, sir? Sure, please. All right, so met her on the website, thought she was 18. At first? Yeah, at first. And, then and she never told you she was 18. No, she didn't. She told you she was 13. Well, I thought she was 18, and then I started asking her questions. And what about didn't. initially, right off the bat, when she told you she was 13? You're saying she told you she was 13, and then you started asking her questions? Or are you saying it was the other way around? Because the first thing I have is, you know, she says, I'm 13, is that okay? And then, and then we get the questions. Uh, I... And you talk about how you're eight inches fully hard. Say, I would have to go easy on you because you're a virgin. I think you would love my is what you say. You say, it's really big and thick. Last girl I had with said she could feel it in her, in her stomach. I mean, why does, a, why does a 13-year-old girl need to know that? So do you want to explain like, what your plan was? I mean... It looks like I... It's obvious what your plan was, but... Do you have any other explanation? I, I know it looks really bad. It, it looks, does. Uh, it's not a good look. She's, oh, I, and not only that, Adam, but it's, it's illegal. I, a conversation like this with somebody you think is 13. Okay? okay. But finish with what you were going to say. I mean, I don't, I don't want to seem like a bad guy or an ass because, I mean, I already do. I already do. Flat out. I mean... I, mean, well, I, I would say so. This is a... This is a dirty chat log I got here, and I'm not even uh, done I, going through it yet. I, I, I know. You know what you said, so. I know. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, own up to it. Okay. I, I will. Okay. But I'll cut ties off with her. Okay. I mean, I, I know what I did was wrong. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be a man, stand up to it. I would hope so. You say I'll see if you can handle it, then put all of them you. I've never had to the white girl before, and she says, so I would be your first, and you said yes, so you acknowledge that you want to have this girl. And you've been talking for a couple weeks pretty consistently. You say, I figure we could do I could eat we could do a 69, and if you're down for it, we could have too. You want to do all this, all these different acts with this 13-year-old girl. Adam. I mean, what, what makes it okay? I mean, you, you do know this is illegal. Yeah, I do. So why do it, Adam? Why have a conversation like this? And she says she doesn't know what a 69 is, and you go into detail explaining what, what a 69 is in very graphic detail. I, I can't even repeat what you were saying in here, okay? If, if, if I did, I might need to start going to church on Sundays because of the vulgarity coming out of my mouth, if I were to read that. Then you say, if you were 18, I would blank the living blank out of you. So you do acknowledge that she's under 18, multiple times here. And you even say, I would like to, but it's illegal. You say it right there, Adam. And I don't want to hurt you, because I know you're looking for friendship, and honestly, you just want a friend with benefits, you say. But you acknowledge that it's illegal, and you still talk to her. Adam, and currently, as far as it looks, you're still planning to meet up with her next weekend because you were busy this weekend, right? Mm -hmm. So, was your plan? Your plan was. It looks like your plan was to meet up with her next weekend. My plan was right? just to hang out. Just hang out. See. So no, no blanking the living blank out of her, and no sixty nine, and no is what you're saying. No. None of that. No. So I, I, why say it here in the messages? I... I just figured I could. You figured... 
I mean, you, I mean, you can. It's I mean, free world, free speech, I mean, sure. But I, mean, I just. I mean, you see I mean, how this I, looks. Oh, I, I know, I know. Sir. How am I to believe that you weren't going to do any of this next weekend? Well, the truth is, you can't. Well, the mean, truth is, I can't. But I mean, I well, there's no way of knowing. But what's there to sear me believing otherwise? Because that's all. You, that seems to be all you talk about. You say you have a fantasy of her answering the door in underwear when she shows up. I'm sorry, when you show up. So you want her to be in her underwear. I mean, it just goes on in here. You talk about your size and brag about it being eight and a half inches. You say, wait till you see it. And then here was, you were texting her late at night. You say, uh, she was saying if you might want to hang out or something. And you said, I don't know if your blank can handle my big so late at night. So what does the time of day have to have to do with that? Oh, man, I'm just curious. I mean, it doesn't seem like it, it adds up here, but... Uh, like you mentioned before, we, we could get your manager if you want. I mean, it's just... And let him know what's going on here. I mean, it just... They just what, Adam? Well, I mean, I didn't expect something like this to happen to me at work, so... Well, sure, but, I mean, that's what happens when you talk with someone that tells you they're 13, and then you go on to tell them where you work. And the information was forwarded over to us. And we want to stop anything bad that before should happen it. before we're, we'll t we're to get there next weekend, mm -hmm. is what you were planning, right? Yeah. Okay. So, you, pretty much, you guys are just here just to... We're just here to stop a bad thing from before happening. it happens and then we're going to have to forward this to the police and see what they want to do because it is illegal of course and we are going to have to notify your, your manager of what's going on here um, like you said before if you wanted to get your manager is there anything else you have to say for yourself Adam? I mean what do you, what do you think should happen to you? What do you have to say? I mean, what do you have to say for yourself for this? I mean, it's a 13-year-old girl. I mean, I, I, I know, sir. Sure. I'm... I know, I know it seems really bad. It really does. Oh, it's very bad. This is uh, a filthy chat log, Adam. I, I know, sir. I'm, I'm just trying to... I mean, almost as, as dirty as your hands are there from working on cars all day. You know? It's very dirty. I'm, I just want to say I'm really sorry, I cut off all ties with her, I swear, don't okay. speak to her ever again. You I know, hope I, you don't, or any other 13 year old girl for that matter, or, any, or anyone else who's underage. I mean, why not talk to an adult, you know, someone your age and plan to do mm -hmm. adult things. You know, don't involve a, a 13 year old girl, mm -hmm. you know, she's not even in high, in high school yet, Adam. Do you got like a card or something? It's right here. This is my identification. I'm no, with I the Predatorial like Investigation a, Unit. Like a business card. This is, I don't have a business card. No, we don't give that out. I identify myself and we give our findings to the police. May that's you, all I can tell you. you write down your name and everything for me? Yeah, if you want to write write down my name, that's fine. I'm Skeet Hansen, the Predatorial Investigation Unit. Or if you just want to remember, if you can remember that, that's fine. Um, you'll most likely be hearing from someone in, a, in a, the next few days here. Um, and we can even let your manager know. Just so they know what's going on. All right, so did, did you want to get your manager then? Looks like you don't have too much going on over here. Yeah, let's get my manager. Okay, well, let's let's get it to him. Um, let you lead does, the way. Does he have to be filming when I get uh, my manager? Uh, you, we document everything just so no one can say anything happened that didn't happen and vice versa. All right. Just so everything's recorded and documented so there's no, no, no one can lie about anything, basically. That's the reason we do that. All right, well, I'm going to... Oh, manager's over there. Perfect. I'm gonna have to have you write. Can I? Can you like write down your name for me and everything? Sure, sure. I can. I can do that for you. Like a number and everything. Oh yeah, like an no office number. Uh, we don't really have that. I can just. I, I can give you my name, and uh, the investigation unit. That's about it. How you doing, sir? Would you be um, Adam's manager here? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm. I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial Investigation Unit. We're a privately owned and operated organization that um, confronts and exposes adults who try to meet up with and have underage girls online and um, I do have a very 
dirty chat log of um of a uh, conversation Adam was having here with a 13 year old girl. She was 18 at first. Well, that's what he says, but you can see right here at the very beginning she says, um, I'm really 13. Are you okay with that? And he says, We can be friends as long as you're okay with it. He goes, He sends a picture there, and that is his phone number. Um, it says a lot of things here. Um, he talks about her parents not knowing if they were to check her phone or something. Um, and then he says, He's thinking about here and to be honest with you he says I don't know since you're not 18 so he acknowledges that she's not 18 and um, here he goes on to talk about what she's done um, she said she's done kissing and other things and then he says I like to think I'm pretty big and he says he's eight and a half inches inches hard so he goes about about to talk about his okay. up oh, sir could you please not touch the binder sorry appreciate it I, I, this is predatory investigation I, I unit property like so well, I'm just, I just don't want my manager to... This is, I thought this was your manager. He is. Are you his manager? Okay. And I, I mean, I can, I can go on here. He says, I think you would love my, my right there. I mean, we have everything on him. And I mean, this just, you know, it goes on, you know. Um, I mean, he says, we'll see if you can handle it when I put all of my inches in you, he says. Sir. And he goes in depth about what a 69 is and says he wants to do that with her. And oh, yeah, I don't you, need to know. That's yeah, you definitely. pretty much get the gist of it, but I'm just letting you know what's going on here. Yeah. He, so If you could just write down your name, your number, sure. where to, how to contact you, yeah. email. Yeah, do you want to step into like the, uh, the, the front desk in there so I can write that down for you? Or, you can actually use the office. Or use the office, that's fine too. All right. All right. So what do you make of all this since you're his manager? I would say so. Seven to the office here, I guess. We'll just, just follow Adam here. I'll just use my binder as a, okay. And what do you need my information for? Just wondering. Well, to know exactly who I'm talking to and who I spoke with. Gotcha. Just as a reference. Okay. And we will be forwarding it to the police so they'll know what's going on already. All right, so if anyone does contact you, or if you call the police yourself or anything, just let them know, Skeet Hansel with a Predatorial Investigation Unit, just like uh, that. Do you have like an email address I can... Uh, we don't. We, we only give that to the police, so they'll have that on, all on file. All right. And that's pretty much, I guess, it's going to be it, Adam, but I just got to let you know, um, you know, I'm Skeet Hansel with a Predatorial Investigation Unit, and um, we're doing an online series about adults who try to meet up with and so the, talk about sex with minors and all that. camera is uh, about. Um, and for documentation purposes, yes, Adam. If there's anything else you have to say, we'd love to hear it. Otherwise, just want to let you know you, you've just been skeeted. Um, like I said, if there's anything else you have to say, then we'd love to hear it. But if not, then that's it. All right, Adam. Well, we're going to be forwarding this over to the uh, police and see how we go about it from there. All right. Well, Adam, um, you have a, a good rest of your day then. And... I, I don't want to see you on those apps again, obviously, talking to underage girls. Mm -hmm. right. Well, good day to you then. You too. Just uh, get out of here. All right, so the uh, the it looks like the police just uh, just just arrived here. How you doing today? Good, how's it going, man? Not too bad. What can I help you out with? So um, the reason we called you, yeah, there's this guy. Um, his name is Adam or John. He works at this. Yeah, he works at this uh, this Firestone here, Complete Auto Care. And uh, for the past couple of weeks, he's been having a very sexually charged conversation with a girl that told him he was um, 13 in this in our sting operation. Okay. Um, what, what can you show me here? You see here that that would be his um, his picture here. Nice smile he has, as you can see. 
Um, here, you know, you can see the girl does tell him that she's uh, she's 13, and then he immediately gets uh, very sexual. You can see right there, he, uh, he acknowledges that, she, that she's 13, and um, asks when her parents are gonna be gone. Uh, right there, right here, he does say that he wants to put his blank down her throat, which is just, I mean, uh, here he says he knows it's illegal, he doesn't wanna get in trouble, this, that, and the other, and I um, believe it was right around, so in this part here, he goes into graphic detail about you know what a 69 is and tells the girl that he wants to do that to her, and um, then he says, you know, basically, I wanna blank you in the blank while you're bent over face down, and it just, you know, it just gets into graphic detail here, and as, as far as I know, it is illegal to have a conversation online with someone that you think is 13. Okay. Um, is yeah. there any way that I can get this information? Yeah, I can uh, send you everything in, like, a like a uh, Google Drive link, right, yeah, to um, if you give I, me an email. I can take down your information. Uh, yeah. We'll send you a link if you go ahead and forward us all that information on there. All right, so I'm going to get your information real quick. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. Can I get your first name? You want uh, just my ID? Yeah, if you have an yeah. idea, that would be great. Yeah, sure. Uh, would be uh, there right here, yeah. yeah if you just copy everything down there. Can I get your email address? Yeah, that'd be um, S K E E T M E D A D D Y 69 at uh, Gmail. All right, um, here's that. Um, I have your information here. I can uh, put all this information in the system. I can get you this case number. Uh, do you okay. want it now, or do you want it like when we send it to you in an email? That, yeah, just give it to me uh, now. That's fine. All right. Yeah. What I can do is put all this information in the system, get a case number going for you. Okay. And then I'll, I'll be back shortly and get you that information. Okay. Great. Thank you. All right, man. Here's what I got. Okay. Here's, here's a card, case cool. number on it. Um, you'll have someone contacting you soon with all the details there. If okay. you have any other questions, you can reach us. You know, right there, and then we'll be good to go, man. Okay. Um, someone may be reaching out to you shortly. Uh, just make sure they can go ahead. and Upload that information to the link that we send to you so we can make sure that we have everything, every, have everything documented, and then we kind of go from there. All right, so you have our information. Yeah. Um, if you have any other questions, comments, you know, you feel free to reach us, out to us. You know, we yeah. may be calling you for further information. Um, okay. Aside from that, if you don't have nothing else, we're going to go ahead and head out. Yeah, yeah, that's it for me. Just All wanted right. to, you know, let you know kind of what's going on here with that with that uh, auto care worker. No, I appreciate so, it. So, yeah. Um, so nothing that, that you can do right now? No, just, there's nothing that we can do right now. Okay. It's going to be all up to our detective. Group gotcha. Right okay, cool. Well, appreciate you guys coming out. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right, have a good one, man. Thank you. I just got to ask, what's what's with the pink handcuffs? Oh, it's to uh, let everyone know that you can still be a bad bitch and fight crime. <laughs> good one, officer. Good one. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so we gave all the information to the police and, of course, to Adam's manager. And um, we're going to see what's going to, uh, you know, be done about it. It's got to be really, I mean, really embarrassing having your manager find out about this. Uh, I mean, you know, getting busted at, at your job is one thing, but when the manager finds out too, it's just, uh, that's a whole other dynamic. Now, I do hope that Adam can learn from this experience and um, not go on any more dating apps and chat up any you know, 13 year old girls, that's for sure. It has been quite a while since my interaction with Adam at his auto care job, uh, but since then I have not seen him on any of these apps. And I hope it stays that way, but regardless, we will be keeping an eye out for him. The Predatorial Investigation Unit is always watching. Adam may have just been another alleged predator that happened to fall into our investigation and we know that there are many more out there just alike and if they happen to fall in our investigation as Adam did they will be discovered and they will ultimately get skeeted uh, you know just as Adam did at his job today well I hope you've enjoyed this episode of to skeet a predator if you did be sure to leave the video a like and subscribe to the channel um, also, be sure to check out Scentbird. Huge thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Their links will be down in the description below. Well, I've been your host, Skeet Hansen, and that's going to be a cop, boys and girls. Let's go get f drunk.